She said life is just a symbol for the pain that you can get through Like a camel through the needle Everyday people are just a thousand versions of who they were So love me like we're
next day and i want to tell you guys about how yesterday went so yesterday when i got home i didn't end up updating you guys or vlogging the rest of my day because i was really tired so all i wanted to do was just sleep honestly and sadly when i got home there was no electricity but then it's fine okay so you guys are here about the nbt so let me tell you guys about that so about the nbt i went yesterday on the 30th of july and that's when i wrote the nbt so we had to get there after seven for registration and um me personally i applied so that i can write a teflu at the university of limpopo at the teflu campus so that's where i registered to write and i was writing the aql and the mat test the mathematics test i needed those for the course that i'm applying to so that's the reason why I did that okay so moving on to the whole process leading up to me writing that test so I can't remember when exactly I applied but then I applied to write the test you choose your own day you choose your own location and you choose which test you can write you want to write because you can write AQ and mathematics both of them or you can just write AQL only me personally I needed to write both as I said okay so I chose everything in that and then after that you have to pay I'm not, I forgot the prices but then I just put them on the screen if you are interested in finding out but anything that I'm seeing you can just basically find it on the NBT website but yeah I did all of that then I for me to pay I went to ShopRite so I just went to ShopRite and paid and give them your reference number and they give you the sleep so that's it I think it's the proof of payment okay so on the day of um, the yesterday of the 30th of July when I had to go write the NBTs we left home at half past four and we got there at half past six. Mind you, we had to be there at half past seven, but it's chai. We got there early and we just sat in the car and people started coming in and started getting food and stuff. Okay, so at around um, 20 minutes to seven, I mean 20 minutes past seven, I went to the front of the building where we were going to write. So there just was a group of people like uh, surrounding that area. You didn't have to queue or anything. So we just sit there and from there they started calling our names on the sh our registration sheet that they were holding. So they just called our names and then when they call your name, you just go to the person that called you because there were three people calling out names. So you just go to the person who called you. Then when I went to that person, the they uh, you check your name on the there's like a registration form or something. Not a registration form, an attendance form an attendance register which you have to check your name and then sign beside it so yeah i did that and then there's a number i was number 59 so yeah, i just got the you tell the person your number then they gave you the answer sheet i think i showed you guys in the video that it was that red paper that they gave us like outside so they give you that answer sheet with your name on it and then when you go um after uh, after getting that answer sheet you go to the door and at the door there was another man who worked there obviously and basically he just checks your id and your answer sheet and checks if the names are the same i think that's why yeah so after that there was someone also inside and they just show you where to sit mind you it was a big hall like a big hall with a lot of chairs and everything and you had to sit one by one obviously but yeah that's what happened so far and then we just said when people came in yeah people came in and stuff and then after that what happened after that they told us they told us the rules they told us if there's no bathroom breaks and unless for an emergency so if you wanted to go out you had to go out then and one thing that i was actually surprised by is that they don't mind you have your bag inside the room like i was actually surprised because there were some people that were okay i actually have a bag here there were some people that were holding cross body bags like this like people don't mind us yeah there were people that were holding cross body bags like this yeah there were people who were holding cross body bags like this and God, those people they were writing with those bags like here like they had the bags on like this and the bag was here and they were writing like i was actually surprised by that i guess that's not against the rules but yeah me personally i just had my bag on the floor and had to switch off your phone because if it was caught ringing you were going to be disqualified because obviously they would think you're cheating or something so yeah after that the test began i don't know what time because i didn't have my wristwatch or anything so we are 
before the test starts like the answer sheet has two like one sheet and it has two sided obviously and then one side is like the general information your name date of birth and all those things and then on the other side is where you actually answer so the test you use a pencil um yeah those turn of shit it's those kind of tests so you just have to shade the right answer so i brought pencil um eraser um, a sharpener and yeah i just brought that and also my id that's very important to bring ID. it's very very important so you shouldn't forget that so yeah when the tests begin like we started off with the aql which was three hours and the aql was a timed paper so like guys i think in total it was 100, 142 questions so it was timed okay basically as i was saying five out of those seven sections were english and then those two were maths lit and 142 questions in total for our paper so yeah for every english uh, one there was um, a co a compre compre it was like a passage that you had to read but then only one way just asked questions and then you have to answer those kind of things but yeah it wasn't that bad honestly it had some high levels questions in it not gonna lie and yeah so it was okay i guess and with those timed sections you couldn't back to the, you couldn't go back to the next section because if you have found let's say we in in section six and you go back to section five and they found you in section five you're gonna get penalized so yeah that wasn't allowed but yeah the timed section wasn't that bad after a while you get used to it but time was running fast like yo could you be writing five minutes left Yo, time was running fast honestly but then you get used to it so after that i think we got finished at around 10 minutes past one so they gave us a 30 minutes break before the the math test so at 10 minutes to one we had to go back in so when you get back in you find your script there on the paper and i actually found that really weird because they use the same script that you use for aql so if you're a cheater you would go outside check on google and check the answers and stuff and come back and change the answer i think they didn't think that too but i don't know i don't know maybe it's i don't know i don't know i don't know but i didn't do that i did not do that i did not okay yes okay moving on to the mat test the mathematics test it was 60 questions and there was no time there was no like time limits or anything just have the three hours to do whatever you want and then after one hour 30 minutes you could go out if you were done and the people who went out like okay you go girl but then that's not me i said the whole three hours because i wasn't gonna rush myself because guys i wasn't gonna rush myself i was just gonna sit the whole three hours and even if i was done i wasn't gonna leave i wasn't gonna leave i didn't want to regret anything while i was outside because once you're gone you're gone once you're done you're done so i just sit and the whole three hours i wrote i wrote i prayed to god and he was there he was there let me just say that he was there i felt his presence in that test because everything was just like everything was going good everything was going good but the end the, the end those i think the five uh no, not five like those 10 last questions no uh ten, five those there were five questions that were kind of tricky like yeah yeah but then i did okay i did okay we're gonna manifest that we're gonna pray to god that i did okay because child not be energy here but then anyway that's how the test went and then after that there were also some um some of my classmates who went but yeah, we didn't use the same transport because I think they already had a transport and I also had my own transport. But then, yeah. So after that, I just chilled with them and also met our former high school um, high school friends. Yeah, high school friends. And also, one of them got me um, got me steers. I actually didn't know. Like, when she came, I was so surprised. Like, for me, girl, for me. But yeah, it turns out it was for me. So thank you if you're seeing this. If you're not, whoever knows her. I won't mention her. Hey, you guys can see the camera there. But I won't mention her. But if you know her, just say thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If you say we took some pictures and everything, cause that's what us girls do. But yeah, that's basically the to sum up my day yesterday. I really had an amazing day and thank you to my mom for taking the time to organizing a transport for me, for doing all of that. Poor old me.
thank you mom thank you mom and honestly while i was there i was noticing the ul campus because like guys it's my first time being at university of limbobo and not gonna lie the campus is not bad honestly it's not bad it's not bad <laughs> yeah i thought there was also some grassy some you know, like for us picnic and stuff there was a fountain there was also this big rock and that big rock yo that big rock it looked nice for like sunsets and sunrises but i didn't apply to you <laughs> but it's fine it's fine it's fine it's it's whatever but yeah that was my day yesterday and hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and yeah i hope you learned something from this vlog but yeah if you want my tips yeah i'm just gonna give you tips but if you want my tips on the nbt I would say there are these two books that I uh, that I used. I just put them on the screen. Those like I think you can find them on Google or something because a friend sent them to me, so I don't know where he got them. But yeah, those were really helpful because those questions that are there are those questions. Those questions are the same, just different numbers, just to spice it up. But yeah, they're basically the same questions. And yeah, and you see, I'm done. I'm done. So yeah, I'm happy about that. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the next video next Wednesday. And guys, like the recent video that I've posted, I'm really proud of it. It's the Mpumalanga vlog. Because I had so many laughs while watching the video. So if you haven't watched that, please go watch it. Please go watch it. And if you haven't subscribed, let please subscribe. Let's get to 200 subscribers, please. I would really appreciate it. But with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Hey guys, so it's actually the next day. This is two. five out of seven of those section, sections. Yo, why is it so dark? Am I that dark? Oh, where you have to question yourself, like you. Where you? Yeah, basically, as I was saying, six.